Okay, let's take a look at this slide. We're looking at calcium signaling here. Okay, let's talk about this calcium signaling. Calcium is so important because it is kept in the cell at very low levels at about 10 nanomolar, um, but with activation, the it can be increased 100 or, or 1,000 fold. Um, you can look, for example, on the right, on the left, uh, we're looking at uh, PIP2 and IP3. This is lipid signaling. Um, and on the right, uh, let's take a look at uh, the voltage-gated calcium channel and the ligand-gated sodium channel. So let's look how this starts. So we have a neurotransmitter and uh, we're hoping to eventually import calcium into the cell. So first the neurotransmitter stimulates the sodium channel and this causes the uh, sodium to go through and then that in turn stimulates the voltage gated calcium channel and then calcium comes through. And what happens is that uh, when you bring calcium in from outside uh, or if it's if it's from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, if it's stimulated that way, it will bind to the calmodulin protein to activate it. And this is similar to, well, it's a signaling molecule, which is similar to how kinases work in, in phosphorylation. Only in this case, we're working with calcium, which is uh, uh, similar, also similar to you know how cyclic AMP works in this system. It is uh, making this this cascade. So what is happening is, as it's going down, uh, it is in this in this case it is it is involved in muscle formation, for example, relaxation and contraction. So it's working on the myosin light chains. Uh, so let, from this slide we should know um, some important things. Uh, for example. You know how the calcium comes into the cell, uh, what activates the calcium, um, that calcium is a signaling molecule similar to how AM cyclic AMP works, similar to how phosphorylation works, uh, it cascades. Look in the middle here, we're looking at the endoplasmic reticulum. A lot of calcium is kept in the endoplasmic reticulum, it's a storehouse for calcium, and depending on the type of, of, ca of calcium signaling, or ER signaling, for example, uh, hormones, they can stimulate calcium to be released into the cytosol directly, so it doesn't have to come in from outside, but still it would act in the same way on the cal uh, calmodulin as uh, a signaling molecule to enter into the cascade to create some, some change. In this case, there is just deep phosphorylation and phosphorylation of myosin light chains resulting in relaxation and contraction of the muscles.